Hello and welcome to another video of our FRED deep dive session. In this video, I will talk about the rendering improvements we have made over the last year. With FRED 2020, we have introduced rounded edges in ray tracing. This feature is also known as rounded corners in Arnold and is basically a shader effect that modifies the shading normals near edges to give the appearance of a round edge. This feature is available for all materials and can be used for hard surface models where bevels have not been modeled and thus saving valuable modeling time. We have three different options that can be set in the material. Same geometry affects only the objects the material is assigned to. Same material will affect objects that are intersecting or very close to each other with the same material assigned. With same group, it is possible to define group IDs for multiple objects and different materials and affect those. In FRED 2021, we have introduced our new subsurface scattering and now allow volume scattering that is necessary for a realistic simulation of translucent plastics or liquids. Subsurface scattering simulates the effect of light entering an object and scattering beneath its surface. Therefore, ray tracing is required. Okay, let's move to FRED and see how the rounded edges and the subsurface scattering material work. To use the rounded edges, I have to turn on ray tracing first. This works in CPU and GPU ray tracing. As you can see, my model has only hard edges. If I want to add the rounded edges to just an object, I select it in the material editor, go to the rounded edges tab and choose same geometry. Keep in mind, this is just a shader effect and values that are too high don't look that good, but it works quite nice for a smaller radius. If I have two objects with the same material, I can choose same material. This adds per default a convex and a concave edge. I can choose which behavior I want. If I have two objects with two different materials, I can choose the same group and set a group ID. If I do the same for my other material, it looks like that both objects are melted together. We have added the features to all materials, including substance. The rounded edge feature helps quite a lot to add more details to your model. Okay, let's have a look to the subsurface scattering material. The subsurface scattering can be found in the plastic material in the subsurface scattering tab. We have added a new volume scattering to that. We have added also a lot of tooltips that describe in detail what the different values are doing. In addition, you can also find some example subsurface scattering materials in our asset manager. That's it for rendering. Hope to see you in one of the next videos.